Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'd just like to apologise, it's been so long since we've done some videos. Oh, great, hang on. Some message from my son. Sorry about that. Um, right, so uh, there's quite a few reasons for this. Uh, so one is that I've agreed to take my son's under-18 football team one last season. So let's see how they go. And... Uh, Another reason is that we've bought a puppy. So I'm not sure if you've seen on Instagram, we've got a lovely little Saluki Whippet, but um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to find her now. But she's obviously taken up quite a bit of time training and house training and walking and supervising and stopping her from eating absolutely everything that she finds in the garden. But that's, uh, that's all okay. So there she is, we're well, bear with. Everybody, meet Sydney. Where is she? There she goes. So there's a little monster there. So, uh, where are we with the car? We have been, we've been making engine mounts, motor mounts, I should say. So, uh, so we made the motor mounts up and uh, then we took some measurements and I went to my good friend Martin's house and took some measurements from his car. Uh, was able to work out the sort of distances because obviously my car's off the floor so it's difficult to try and work out exactly what height it's going to be riding at and what clearance we need for the motor and all of that stuff so we took the measurements we came back we've had a look at it and if we try and make it so that the motor is flat both um, front to back and side to side then there's not enough ground clearance between the bottom of the motor, the motor mounts and the ground. So back to the drawing board with that, but I think we've got a solution. hive of industry today. Uh, Dad's busy making up some nice wooden motor mounts. Uh, we're making up some plates to go in here to strengthen the subframe because we're going to be moving the mounts forward a bit. So I'm just going to weld some plates in there to do that. Yeah, then we're going to along nicely. Well, that's welded in. Let's get it tidied up and painted. Like that. So we've made up the templates. Now what we've got to do is take the templates apart, cut up some steel and weld it together. What could go wrong? So what I was thinking is, so I should cut all these up and then maybe screw the template back together and we can put the sit the metal on top of the template to make sure that everything's yeah. kind of right before we tack it together. Mm -hmm. I managed to find this nice thick steel down at B&Q so uh, it's got holes all over the place so we've had to just weld two of these holes up and then we can bolt this through that there, hole there which is the original mini mount and then drill it out so that it's ready and then this plate will get welded to the engine mount and then bolted in place in the, uh, in the subframe. 
So we've checked the car's level, we've checked the motor's level, we've checked the drive shaft goes through the hole. So now what we're going to do is uh, just weld the bracket here to the mounting plate here along that bottom edge and then we can reinforce with some bars coming across like that. So more work on the engine mount so I'm making up this little piece here. It's nearly ready and that's just going to sit in there like that. So nearly the right shape and then I'll I suppose I better make it out of metal. Kind of just roughly done at the moment. So the aim will be able to keep it flat side to side, but actually to tilt the motor, and if you can see that, it's slightly tilted at the front to make sure that we've got some decent ground clearance. Okay. Um, this means that we'll be able to keep the drive shafts in the right position, um, coming out through the subframe there. Uh, this side it's not so much of a problem, there's a bit more leeway, but this side's really tight. We're going to make sure that that is exactly in the right position. So there we can see the inner i3 shaft. We've sort of ground this back to get some clearance so that when that's in position that'll have about 5 to 10 mil clearance around there. That should be enough because uh, that part shouldn't actually move that much. Um, so that is that. But unfortunately before we'd noticed that we'd already spent some time making up some engine mounts. Uh, obviously this big bit will bolt onto the motor. Likewise this part here. This part with the original mini mount will bolt to the car. So all we've really got to do is we've got to redo these pieces here. And I didn't really get far on this side, it's just this, this one here and a small weld along there that we've got to redo. So uh, we'll just make sure that that is 100% in the right place and then redo the motor mounts. Right, so we have checked the level going that way. We've checked the distance from here to the bulkhead and here to the bulkhead to make sure that it's square in the hole. Drive shaft is lined up. Both sides of the motor mount are bolted in place or, you know, positioned anyway. So I'm ready to start welding this bracket to this bracket now. Let's see how it goes this time. So that's the driver side motor mount, pretty much there. A bit of tidying up to do still, but on the whole, you get the idea. And that's what it looks like from the top. I think it looks pretty smart. So that's it for today. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, please make any comments below. If anyone's got any suggestions on the motor, how we're going to fit that and the motor mounts and whatnot. 
please you know make comments and uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks.